Hello everybody. In the next couple videos, I'm going to go over debugging. The first way that I'm going to go over debugging is using the LCD screen. Uh, and then the next way that I'm going to go over debugging is using this serial output monitor. So let's go ahead and get started. When you are using the LCD screen, you need to initialize the LCD. So that's LCD and INIT. And then it says, which LCD port are you using? That's what this stands for. Uh, I am using UART2. You may be using UART1. Next, I want to clear the LCD screen. So I'm going to type in LCD and clear. And then again, I'm going to make this UART2 because it asks which LCD screen do you want to clear. You may have two LCD screens. I will only have one. All right, let's go ahead and print. Uh, what do I want to print? Well, I'm going to print my right motor power and my left motor power from my previous joystick sample code. So how do you do this? Well, you t start typing LCD, look for print, and push Enter. And then type in UART2. Then which line do you want to print on? Well, I want to print on line 2. And now what do I want to print? Well, I'm going to print R space motor for right motor, uh, colon, and then put a space there with a percent D. What the percent D does is it takes in a value, uh, which I'm going to place right here, which is our right motor power. So it's going to take in this integer of right motor power. Every time it changes, it's going to change on the screen for you. And then I'm going to put a semicolon here, and that's it. The next one I'm going to do is my left motor power. Copy this, paste that. Oops, I meant to put that on line one, not line two. So this one is going to be the left motor power. Change that to L, change this to left. And that is it for this program. Um, I'm going to pause the video now, upload this to my robot, and or I have to build it first and then upload it. So let me pause the video while I go ahead and do that. So I'm not quite done uploading yet, but there's an error here that I wanted to show you. Um, I'm going to push yes to continue, and it still won't upload to my robot. So what I need to do is I just need to do a quick power cycle, and after I do that quick power cycle, it'll upload. So again, I'm going to pause the video and then upload this to my bot. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, so that if you get the same error, you know what to do. So I'm going to click no right now, do a power cycle, upload it to my bot. All right, it is done uploading. And as you can see, my right or my left motor is giving me values in the positive direction, giving values in the negative direction. My right motor is giving values in the positive direction and the negative direction. So that's it for the LCD screen. It's pretty simple. Go ahead and have fun with that. I'll see you in the next video where I'll go over more debugging.